All right, guys, welcome back to part three of, I guess this is just giving TJ like a hundred plus dollars worth of Hot oh, Wheels. Yeah. Again, guys, it's not me, it's you that allows him to get all these cool Hot Wheels. Thank you for that. Like, we both really appreciate it. But also, it's also so you guys have something cool to watch. So, without any more waiting, we're going to hit up the box of amazing Hot Wheels, premiums, main lines, and a couple surprises. So, get ready, stay tuned. All right, buddy, are you ready? I am, sir. Like, before was just a sir. teaser, dude. There's some amazingly good things in here. So let's see, what should we start with? I think I know what I'm going to start with. Pretty sure. Yeah. All right, so number one, guys, is the Mercury Cyclone, which oh, you wow. already have. So if you want a second, take it. Yeah, if not, yeah. I could swap it out for uh, whatever car you'd like. Mike's Transmissions. Yeah, no, I saw that, right? That's funny. My transmissions. Next on the list, guys, for him. I don't... He might. He might have this. And if he does, we'll figure it out. Maybe he can open it. I don't know. Is the 73 Honda Civic Custom. Did you Did you get one? I got one, but I opened it. All right, cool. So now you have one sealed. Yes. Yes. I only found three of those, so they're getting taken. The retro paint job. still never found the stupid blue <sighs> CRX. Did you get the blue... There should have been one in the L case. Blue CRX with the gold wheels. I haven't seen it. Dude. He also managed this is to cool, man. find the time shifter, which I should find soon, because that will show up eventually once everyone has it. Sort of like Rise and Climb, Don't Run Drifter. They start getting left behind. Oh, All right. The, the I up. know he doesn't have this one, because this is out of M case. It's actually one of my favorites right here. It is the Fastbed Hauler in gold oh, and dude. purple, I think, or is that brown? Uh, it's like maroon. Maroon. The yeah. gold is cool. That's Bro, we one. should race that on the track. Strap a car to it. <laughs> we might have to do it. If you saw, guys, if you saw the video where Lisa and I played with it, and hopefully you saw the last one, we had a bunch of fun with this thing last night, so if you want to see more of it, I'll leave the link in the corner, if I remember. Otherwise, just check my channel. I usually forget. Yeah, I'm probably going to open this, because, you know, we can put cars on it and display them. Yeah, there's no, there's no point in keeping those. It's too. so much more fun that way. Yeah. Two and one. Alright, we'll jump to something Man. something right. random. I think he saw this in a video. That's why I told him to stop watching videos because there's a hundred percent he saw this. It is now let me go over the backstory for you. I tried to find him the Forza pack. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to. You guys know I looked and looked and looked. It might show up someday, I don't know. Either way, I made sure to grab him this one because it's cool and I figured he would be happy with it. Alright, so this one is the Custom 70, well, I don't know what it's called, but it is the Oh wow. That's Legends cool. Tour pack and it's got a Mustang. I think this one's a Mustang, right? Uh, Mustang right here. So what do we got? With, with the lip, we have a... Oh yeah, is it adjustable? Custom 71 El Camino, 67 GTO. We have a 2005 Mustang with the little flippy lippy thing there. Flippy lippy. We got a Baja truck, 68. The Hot Wheels Chevy something. Wait, no. Rip Ride. All right. I we have the Rip Rod, which is a fantasy. Well, I mean, are these really fantasies though? Because they're legends. So these are actual That's cars true. that people make. You're right. But this is not like a right. typical car, but somebody actually made that. That's true. And then this is the 2013 Hot Wheels Chevy. Yeah, these, these yeah are it's a cool pack, man. I, that's honestly what I went in for because I saw that the Florida Man YouTuber, he had one. This so, right here? This, this pack. Oh, okay. So I was like, oh, maybe I could find it. I walked in there, I found it, and then I turned my head, and that's where the Forza set was. And I was like, dude, what is this? Wow. But yeah, that's the first, the one and only that I ever found was, was the Forza set. And then I never saw these again, so I'm happy I grabbed that for you. Because I haven't seen this either. You So you found this at a. Uh... At a uh, Ross. Ross. The GTO is actually really cool. I'm, it's a good pack, dude. I, a lot of people didn't like it, but I mean, come on, guys. It's hard not to open something like that. Cause oh, it's just... Not for me. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, I don't have room to put them anymore. Second yeah, of all, I mean, I've, I've run out of space. Like, did I'm you see the space. Lambo pack I got up there? By the way, Lambo pack. I finally found this after looking for a long time. Oh, dude! I, I finally wasn't ran even, across uh... it. You know, it slipped my mind. I was looking at it and didn't even register in my brain. So is that th this is not an opener? No. That is dope. Even though I do love the Lexus pack, that's that's staying sealed. Uh, well, maybe. Man. Maybe. I do like opening premiums. There's nothing quite like opening a premium, no. to be honest. And, and the, the feel of it. 
the feel. Yeah. I just like the feel of them. They're nice and heavy, solid, all that good stuff. <sighs> Looking for the Mustang one is the one. I'm the new one? Currently searching yeah, for well, yeah. If I, I find I, it, I'll I, grab it I, for you. I, I like Brian's Skyline too. You know, like that one's cool, but it's just a novelty, guys. You know, stop buying into the hype. It's a cool car. You mean like Team Transport? Yes. It's a cool car, you guys. You know how much those are selling for? Uh, it's, it's ridiculous. Have you looked? It's too much. $100 so, so for a $16 car. It, it's, it's, it's not worth it, you guys. I actually said, I think, I can't even remember, a couple of videos back. I mentioned that I'm. I don't think I'm ever gonna see it. If I catch a drop, I'll see it. But I don't even care because no, I, I just anything not. that they're and someone actually put this in a comment to one of my other videos about a month ago that Mike and Lisa don't seem like they care about special stuff as long as it's a cool color. You're absolutely right, a hundred percent. Because I'm not like I just don't care. If if someone's trying to charge a hundred fifty dollars for it, I'm not wasting my no. time trying to. No. I'll just find whatever like the Lambo. The red Lambo. This guy here. I said it once, I'll say it again. To me, when I found this, because these are pretty rare so far, they might come in another case. This is a super treasure, or treasure hunt. I, I want this more than an overhyped car just because it's got rubber wheels. But anyways, that's that's for another day. All right, moving on. I, uh, he might have this one too because I think this is L case. I think he does. I think he does. I just, re I just remembered that one. I know a lot of you guys can't find this one. And I've actually left one behind, and I regret it, but it's the 83 Chevy Silverado. Oh, cool. Do you have that one? I have it, but I opened it. All right, there so, you go. So, you know, like I got one for the wall. And I meant I got the lowriders. Like, I like lowriders, so I got a collection of lowriders that go on the wall. Boom. Ah, the 80s. What a good decade, guys. <laughs> for real. <laughs> All right, no, you don't have this one, because this is out of either M or N. I think this is out of N case. You ready? Yeah. It is the Porsche 928 Safari. What is that? This is a real car? Yeah. Dude, where do they drive this car, man? I don't That's know, in cool. the desert or something. <laughs> We're just going to make a, a, a Safari car with a light bar and a luggage rack on it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> totally, man. And that back thing over there? Well, yeah, it's just like it. Lambo. Lambo just made the, uh, I forget what it's called, but it's an off-road Huracan. I can't remember the, the name of the car. Leave it in the comments below if you know, guys. A 928. So what would that be in the series? That would be back in the 90s, the 80s? It's got that style circle pop-up light. I want to say this is an early 90s car. Early 90s car. for sure. Could you imagine being on safari and somebody just goes driving by <laughs> you? <and laughs> you know, wow. Yeah, for real. That would be cool. That would be the highlight of my safari, I'd guys. make it like tiger camo or something. <laughs> All right, guys. He's going he's gonna to love this one. He is going to love this one. It is the Matchbox Dodge. Maybe you know what this means. Swept side? No. Pickup. What is that? Wow. Two-tone? What is that? I don't know, but when I saw it, I had to grab it. A 1957 swept side. Wow, it's like a Cadillac and a truck at the same time. It's dope. That is so sweet. It's dope. Now that I've been just going crazy with Hobbies, I like things I never used to like. Like livery, paint jobs, muscle cars, trucks. Like, I like all of it now. I, I just, yeah. Man, that is a cool truck. Matchbox, you have, uh... Yeah, Matchbox makes some good cars. You have stepped it up. Make sure you always look for Matchbox, guys. They definitely have cool cars. Again, once you're over the hype of Skylines and whatever cars are in the Hot Wheels case, you start looking at Matchbox, you realize there are a lot of cool ones. And uh, if you like normal cars, like a truck or, a, I don't know, a Ford Taurus or whatever, you're going to find that with Matchbox. Your dad, your grandpa would have drove this truck in right. 1957. Well... My grandfather would have drove this truck in 1957. Maybe your great grandfather would have drove this truck in 1957. Yeah, 